Hello and welcome to the Arcade Saga. My name is Hilke-Jan Wiersma, also known as EJ. And yes, you guys, uh, today I have a blooming update for the month of January and I'm uploading this in February uh, due to uh, circumstances. <laughs> if you saw my last video, you know exactly what I mean. I did get a, a new uh, greenhouse floor. So uh, that took up so much time that I uh, didn't have time to upload this video. But I thought uh, I'm going to do it in February because uh, watching beautiful orchid blooms is not uh, 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 that bad. <laughs> so always a good excuse to look at some, uh, some flowers. So yes, so let's start this update uh, for January and February. And we start with this beauty. This is my Maxillaria, one of the three that I have. And I'm just searching for the tag and it's in the back there, but this is uh, Maxillaria chrysantha. And to be honest, this is for me the most beautiful one flower wise. I absolutely love these beauties. And so yeah, it's the chrysantha, like I said. It, personally, I didn't see it for sale uh, after the ever I bought this one anymore. Perhaps it's here and there, but not that common, I believe. But yeah, the blooms are absolutely beautiful, if you ask me. So that's the first one, this Maxillaria. This is uh, another one. It's not in bloom yet. I did get this from Insta Orchids, and it has new roots, new bulbs. So perhaps one day it will be in bloom. This was also uh, a gift from Insta, and this one is obviously also in bloom, as we can see. And I'm going to take this so you can compare the blooms. It has very small blooms if you compare the two. And a beautiful yellow one. This is Maxillaria um, variabilis, variabilis, I'm sorry, yellow. So there are the little teeny tiny blooms on this one. Absolutely beautiful. This one is uh, obviously doing very well. We have beautiful roots inside of the pot. And now it's blooming. So yes, that's the start, the maxillaria. So let's go over here. Well, this one is now done blooming, this purple one. But next to it is this beauty. I'm going to go a little bit over here so you can see the overall plant. It looks beautiful. And this is the up close. These are also called the more alien shaped blooms. Fairly common, common on the growers, and this is a cross of the uh, Spectabile. So it's not the original Spectabile, but a cross with it, as you can see there. But uh, yeah, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Such a unique shape to these flowers, and quite a few, as we just saw. So yeah, I'm very happy with, uh, with them. These just opened up, so that's why they are just a little bit smaller than this ones. So that one is over here, up here near the roof. We have this brachia type. It's uh, called, uh, it's actually a Bratonia, Bratonia green parrot, as you can see. And that is this one, also a very beautiful one. And this spike is in bloom for quite a few weeks. We have a new spike, whoops, over there, and another one there in the back. I hope you can see it there. So we will have this in my updates, blooming updates, for quite a while, I, I, I suspect. <laughs> so that's beautiful. Then here we have some dendrobiums in bloom. This is, oh, this is no ID, this one. Beautiful purple one over here. Then we have this one, still some blooms on there. And a few in the back, as you can see. Some are dropping, but there it is. And I did find a name for it. It's a commercial name, but this is also called Dendrobium Phenoliopsis Candy. I saw it somewhere. I had it for years, as no idea, but I saw it somewhere. Finally, I did find the uh, commercial name, but this is called Candy. Next to it, we have the Coconut Dream, I believe it's called. It's a fairly, fairly large blooms, almost completely white. There's a hint of a green yellowish color in the center there. Absolutely beautiful. 
Do I have the tag? Yes. Uh, it's the Coconut Dream. I did get this name from it as well. well the name, not the arcade. <laughs> but uh, yeah, beautiful. Thailand's black there, but you can see that one is almost over. We have some blooms there in the back. Those look a little bit better, I believe. But it's been in bloom for a while, so yeah, there is a. There comes a time where they go, obviously. <laughs> My purple and blue happiness together. Being beautiful, both of them. Absolutely stunning blooms. And this is the almost blue one. Next to it we have a more yellow one. That is, most of the blooms are facing the other way. Let's see if we can turn this around a little bit. There we go. This one had some aphids on it. So if you see some little black dots, like here, those are uh, dead aphids. <laughs> Nonetheless, beautiful, the sh uh, beautiful color, and I really love the shape of this one. This is the Puff 58 Yellow Fragrance, and Rhobium Puff 58 Yellow. Next to it, perhaps the Nora Takanana. I did get this name from Michael McCarthy. And I'm going to back away a little bit so you can hopefully see the size of the plant and the amount of flowers. Absolutely stunning. These are just opening up. So many of these beauties. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. And next to it, so this is Nora Takanada, we have Roy Takanada. Takunada. Let's see, because these flowers are open the longest and then they are fairly big. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Let's have that noir in the background there. <laughs> so yeah, beautiful, beautiful. And we have a this is a small spike with two flowers. This is working on opening up all the buds. Here we have even more buds. So this is this plant in comparison to this is bigger cane wise. You can see if they like it, if they are fairly healthy, they uh, can bloom quite uh, quite strongly with uh, quite some blooms, I uh, try to uh, say. <laughs> yeah, absolutely stunning. Fires almost there, not yet. Here I do have a nobly. Let me go down a little bit so we can hopefully... Yeah, there they are. And... Comet King, yes. Nobly, then Drobium, uh, I'm sorry, then Drobium Nobly, Comet King. Beautiful purple one. Absolutely beautiful. Next to it, Berry Oda. Then Drobium Berry Oda with a lovely honey fragrance. We have quite some blooms over here, as you can see. Then the small one here, it's still in bloom. We have some fresh blooms. Let me turn around. Let me turn around like this. So hopefully we can... There it is. As you can see, Dendrobium ambiences. I try my best with the names, guys, but... <laughs> yeah, beautiful. We had quite some flowers. Some are going over, but still some good ones. Let me quickly check. Up here we have my oldest snobly. Over here it's the Apollo. Oh, the fragrance of this one is beautiful. As are these blooms. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. Uh, up here, no. Yeah, almost forget this one. It's going over, but we have some f more fresher blooms inside there. I hope you can see it. Hibiki. Dendrobium hibiki. Also a very nice one. Blooms for ages. <laughs> then over here, well, the first fails start to open. This is the Sogo Meili Sogo. As you can see, it's just starting to open up. I will do a few, but I will wait until the rest is open. 
and then I will do a whole video on the fails. Let's just take a quick look because they, those are so stunning. Look at that. Few casualties here. Only, yeah, basically most of them only on this one, dropping the butts because of the move. There is an old flower going over. It's working on that new spike and blooms there. And we have a few beautiful ones over here and one over here. <laughs> so let's do an update over here as well, because we have some beauties here. Also, look at this one. No name for it, sadly, but the small ones over here. And probably my most favorite one because of the colors and obviously the shape of the blooms I love. A nice cascade of flowers over here. And we have some red ones. This is Soko Relax. There's this one, it has also a bloom here. And then here, down here we have this beautiful pink orange one, which I do love. I really enjoy the colors. And of course the Leodoro still in bloom. Lovely fragrance on this one. And well, we here. Let's have a look at these Lacasta blooms. This is kind of funny. This is one spike with two flowers on there. Hope you can see them bit of yellow inside there. So yeah, that's, I'm, they had no idea they could do that, but one bot to come. This one is going over now, but this was the red one. Like I stay, you see the name there in the back. And I also have the name of the white one. If you're curious, there you go. Up here, I didn't change the name tag, but I did get the original name from Hillbilly Orchids in her one of her videos. But this is a cross with the um, the uh, Rene Marquez flamethrower and some type of Cattleya Free Spirits. And I do have the Epidendrum Rene Marquez over here. Look at that, beautiful. And if you compare the two there in the back, you can see quite easily now the difference because the one in the back is often confused with this one, which is the original Rene Marquez. That is a, uh, one of the parents of that one in the back. As you can see the colors and a bit of the shape of the blooms there. Let's go back quickly. Yeah, both of them beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So those are that. Let's go down here because here we have still some nice looking flowers on this Telumnia. Some are going over, as you can see. <laughs> and some are still beautiful. Let's see, up here, we have this beautiful Epidendrum. Look at this, this one is so beautiful. It's just called Epidendrum Hybrid. So basically no ID for it, but the blooms are so beautiful, look at this. Sadly, not that long lasted, but still. I really, really enjoy uh, these, these colors, absolutely, and the shape of the blooms. And then next to it, my Vanda is opening up her flowers. The two spikes, we have one in the back there as well, as you can see. It's one of my bigger uh, Vandas. Look at all the cakeys. And next to it is this yellow one that is now, this spike was the oldest, it's going over. That one, mm, maybe from this side. Yeah, you can see the flowers are starting to go away now. But beautiful. And then we have this Cattleya. If you see something and I don't mention the name, you can always ask. I'm happy to give you the name if I have it. But otherwise it takes so long to give all the names of the flowers of the plants. So I apologize, but please uh, feel free to ask. This is a no ID, <laughs> I know that for sure, but uh, white could layer. You can see the start to brown up already as well. 
well, already it's been here for a few weeks, but yeah, it happens, of course. And then we have this one. It's just opening up. Whoops. I see this fairly often on channels as well. This is the, um, yeah, it's such a common name, the golden boy, something called golden boy. Nice miniature Cattleya. Do not have much blooms on the spike, sadly. Not sure if it was the cold damage or not, but I have one beautiful flower on the golden peacock. So yeah, it's sad, but something happened to it. Maybe the move, I'm not sure. And then this beautiful one. Here we go. Let me try it like this. Hmm. It's sometimes a bit difficult to film with the lights and my camera. <laughs> and this one is called Yairak Fire Star. That is this one. And then down here, it's a little bit of the same story as with my golden peacock. Sadly, this is my golden elf. We still, luckily still have some beautiful blooms. And opening up, but you can see the top tip of the spike. So I did spray it for thrips, you never know, but could be because of the move that they are a little bit off. Sometimes it's hard, hard to tell, but luckily, like I said, we have a few beautiful blooms to enjoy. And the fragrance, of course. Oh, fragrance is fantastic on this one as well. Down here, this is a new bot orchid. It's looking fairly okay. <laughs> so yeah, that's here in the corner where I have my transition. I have some keikis of my berry oda blooming here. And of course, the Santa Barbara. She's still here being Extraordinary beautiful. <laughs> I love this one so much. So that's a beautiful long spike and then these beautiful blooms at the end of on the end of it. Absolutely stunning. And the Boba Phylum is only has a, having buds now. So no blooms, so that's for the another time. Uh, quickly check. No, I think I didn't forget anyone here. So let's go inside of the orchid room where we also have some beauties in bloom. Let's start with this one. <laughs> Miltoniopsis, Princess Diana. And uh, something added to the name, I believe. No, this is just uh, Miltoniopsis, Princess Diana. Absolutely beautiful. Let's put the tag here. But you can see we have some spikes. So this one is uh, really doing well. Next to it we have also one with a huge spike, but not in bloom. And down here we have these guys going over now. So yeah, if they keep on blooming all to uh, April, then I probably, yeah, I think it's April. Then I have one year of nonstop Every month, Miltoniopsis blooms. That never ever happened in my orchid career. <laughs> this one is from Equigenera Kaido's Dream. Beautiful, very nice, dark center there. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely. So that is over here. And then. Before I forget this one, let's see. Look at that. Mesdevalia. No name for it, beautiful yellow variety. Stunning. And the shape of the blooms is so beautiful. Of the Mesdevalias, look at that. I like them. Then over here. These are not long lasted, but so beautiful. Look at that. Sadly, we. Already have some discoloration on that. It goes so quick with these blooms. But nonetheless, they are still beautiful. This is the name for it. And I think this is the second time that I do bloom this one. But look at the lip and the colors in there. A piece of art. 
<laughs> and then we have here black velvet, Mas de Valley black velvet. You see one spike with two blooms there. Be, oh yeah, there. <laughs> ah, this is better. Look at that. That's the bloom. So currently three blooms on there. And a new spike. It's an old spike but a new spike next to it. I just spot it. Um, and this is done flowering. <laughs> this is almost done flowering. As I go. Impasto blue. So that's over here. Then we have this beautiful red obsidian here. It's something with deep shadow. I hope you can see it. Pacific deep shadow. And it has. I need to go to the other uh, side of the shelf. I apologize. But it's well worth it because look at this. Let me zoom in a little bit. So it's beautiful dark red purplish flowers on there. Beautiful spike. Absolutely beautiful. Really nice shape of flowers as well. So that one is there. We have this Sagunicia almost going over these flowers, but nonetheless, we have them. Variety can uh, uh, Cantina, oh my god, <laughs> Ruslii Cantina, not only opposite, it's giving me some extra flowers. It wasn't uh, that long ago that it was in bloom, if you remember, this one is obviously over. <laughs> then we have this one, look at that, such a beautiful cascade of flowers. No name for this one. If you recognize it, please let me know. But absolutely beautiful. Nice pattern on there. And yes, look at this. This is my yellow twinkle. It's giving such a show again. Look at these. The beautiful yellow with a hint of orange flowers. And the fragrance on this one is vanilla and something extra sweet in there. It's, it's beautiful, but look at the amount of flowers. Let me zoom out a little bit. Here we go. Look at that. Yeah, this one is doing very well. And here we have a bunch of another twinkles. <laughs> look at those blooms. Let me zoom in a little bit. I really, really love this one as well. I love them all, but these colors. And next to it, next to it this is this more darker brown reddish one. And then we have the red fantasy. Let me zoom in on that one as well. So yeah, it's twinkle season over here. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, the fragrance on these guys is absolutely beautiful. I love them. Then up here. It's already going over, sadly. I can see darker spots on the blooms. So these are not that long lasted as well, but nonetheless beautiful. I will see if I can find a tag. Beautiful spikes. I really uh, love these colors, the white and the yellow. Um, yeah, this is the Pipirea, Pipikea, Alba form. Here it is. Yeah, Oncidium Pipikea Alba. That is this one. And the not Alba version is next to it, but sadly just not a flower open. Otherwise we could compare them almost. I was hoping to make some pictures, but yeah, I think I'm just, just a little bit too late because these start to brown up. But anyhow, yeah, maybe over here a few, who knows. <laughs> Yeah, beautiful. And then this is something you probably recognize. It's a wildcat, bobcat. Still in bloom. Quite a spike as well as you can see, hopefully. Yeah, beautiful colors here. So on this table. And then down here we have this one. Still a 
beautiful spike on here the rest is going over now but you can see quite some flowers on there and um, i don't have the tag but it's fairly common one i believe this is also a new one i did showcase in one of my last videos just a quick update she's standing over here then in the back we have my Ludicia jewel orchids starting to flower and some flowers there in the back you can see we're a bit top heavy i believe but this is the jewel alba i believe or this color alba something and then we have the original this color you can see the difference between the leaves there very well i think and the blooms maybe you saw my uh, repotting videos on these guys but they look so much better now Maybe I should do an update on them soon. And then here, these are also so beautiful. Sturbic. Ontocidium, I believe, or Ontoglossum. Sturbic. From the Incas, I have it. And still beautiful, root Carpenter, with two spikes. Very long lasted these flowers. Beautiful. And then next to it, I need to zoom out again a little bit. Look at this, the, the length of this spike. Quinlanburg, Odontoglossum Quinlanburg. It goes all the way up to here. And it has these magnificent flowers. Fairly large flowers. Well, I guess they can better compared to this one as you compare it to my hand uh, let's do it like this i'm sorry for the movement nice star shaped flowers yeah absolutely beautiful and we have quite a few to come still yeah one of my favorites there is the plant itself then up here I have no ID, but it has these beautiful flowers as well, hidden in there. Um, I need to a better backdrop. There we go. Very nice warm colors on this one. So let's put it back quickly. <laughs> there we go. And then over here, we have still a few left on this one. But they're not looking that great anymore. I didn't go over. But look at this white fan. Uh, <laughs> Puffio Pedlum, I'm sorry. Three blooms and it, it looks so beautiful. With those blooms. One spike is carrying these two beauties. And then this is the most newest one. Look at that. Quite a size flower. Quite big. This path is making a butt, as we can see, and we have a new bloom almost opening up. <laughs> Looks a bit strange on my uh, Puffio Pedlum Pinocchio Alba. Yeah, I think it's maybe it's stuck a little bit. I'm not sure, but next one will be probably will be better. Maybe it's just uh, needs to open up a bit better. I will not interfere too much with it because I'm afraid I'm going to break it. So yeah, let's see, did I forget anything? I don't think so, but yeah, it looks beautiful, all those flowers. So yes, yeah, 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 this is it, you guys. So this is my update from January and February. I hope you enjoyed it as well. I do, I always like making these videos and have a close up of these beautiful blooms and all those colors that go so well. In the end, that's basically what we do, of course, when we grow these orchids. We want to see those beautiful flowers. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Maybe you want to share it. And of course, if you didn't already, you may want to consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, I hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye. <laughs>